Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Monday Night Raw after Extreme Rules. Today, we're going to be trying a new editing system, editing this together, and see how the video turns out. Um, I have a different camera now, and we're going to try and use that because it syncs the audio up better. And you can, you don't need to like read my lips to protect what's going to happen because the audio was like coming before and after. So besides that, we're gonna try a new editing system, new camera. It's a little low in the quality. Like you can see in my hands like that's motion blur. So um, we're gonna just use this for now. And yeah, so there's some great matches. And right now I think Randy Martin has a few words to say. I don't know why I'm pointing up here because you can't see that, but that's my TV. But Randy Orton has a few words to say, so we're going to get right down to the ring, and we're going to see what he has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, we, are now, we will now be going to the ring to see our new WWE Champion, Randy Orton. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There's been some hating on my in the nation lately, hasn't there? All these people in the back talking like they know who I am or what I do, but they have no idea. Well, one in particular is about to find out exactly who I am, and they're not going to like it. How do I even summon the strength to come out here in front of you petulant dregs, you filth, you swine? Simple. I don't care about you. I don't care about my career. And I care about settling my business. I have business tonight I need to settle with another individual who, much like you, needs to learn his place. Alistair Black, you made the biggest mistake of your life when you got in my way. Now I have no choice but to show you why I'm the most dangerous superstar in WWEA. Get ready to experience a world of pain. Oh my god! Is that... It's Alistair Black! We were thinking of bringing him up to the main roster, and now, now he's here. He's here, and I'm guessing he said something to Oregon or something, maybe backstage, and now, ooh, this is going to get good. This is going to get good. Now let's see what Alistair Black has to say to Randy Orton about this one. Oh, I can't wait for this promo. Who knows, maybe we'll have a title match. Look, you talk a great game. You really do. I've got to hand it to you. You've got this crowd worked up and ready for action. And that's an awesome thing for sure. But I think we've got to take this to the next level. A war of words is one thing, dude. But the WWE Universe wants to see us tear the house down. Hey, good for you. You made your move and took your shot. Pretty much the same play I would have run if I were in your shoes. Now the million dollar question is, is that the only play you've got? Are you going to come at me with something more? I'm right here. Let's do it. You seem to pretend that it didn't take a lot for me to win my championship. This wasn't given to me. I wasn't born into it. I had to work from the bottom up same as you rise to the top. I earn my title every step of the way. I won't stand here and let you piss me I don't even know what that means. All the struggles I had to win that. <laughs> Sorry about that.
never once done anything to impress me, and that's not changing anytime soon. Interrupting me definitely didn't impress me. Whatever reason you came out here, it definitely won't impress me either. Face it, you will never be impressive, so just stop trying. I've made friends and enemies in this business, no big deal for me. I don't worry about what other people think of me. I know who I am. All I focus on is my next target. And right now, that's you. So no more talking. Let's settle this right now before I really lose my cool. Let's go right to it. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. But on my terms and when I'm ready. My fans deserve to see me when I'm performing at 100%. I won't settle for anything less. Oh! Oh, and now they're getting physical. Now it's time for him to get physical. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. No, yeah, we are doing this. My apologies. Oops. <laughs> oh, my God. What is happening? Alistair Black and Randy Orton are getting into the mix right now. Alistair Black and Randy Orton couldn't wait for later. Orton said he wanted it on his terms, but you know what? These are going to be his terms now, I guess. Now Alistair Black countering Randy Orton's attacks. They're going back and forth right now. Orton countering that one. Doing some damage to that knee of Alistair Black. And where you are with a suplex on the black. Orton's mad that Alistair Black attacked him out of nowhere. Ooh, another suplex from Orton. Uh, but Orton loading everything. So anyway, the best. But Black catches him. Black throws him in the ropes. And, ooh, knees right to the chest of Orton. Now he's going to pick him back up. Oh, Alistair Black can't lift up Orton, but Alistair Black gets thrown outside the ring by Randy Orton. Now just gloating, just gloating. Alistair Black comes in, but Orton's ready for it. He's ready to deliver another. Oh, Alistair Black with the counter and a kick to the face right to Orton. He's knocked out cold. And, oh. Close line from Alistair Black. And now the ref's here. The ref's in. The ref's breaking them up. The ref's going to break them up now. Now the ref's breaking them up. But no. They, they want to keep going. No, they don't. They don't want to keep going. Never mind. Um, um, okay. Um, we'll get the general manager to settle this one out. Um, okay. So, now it is time to look at tonight's matches. We will see you there. Ladies and gentlemen, and now it is time to look at our match card today. We'll see what our general manager has picked out. Big Show will go one-on-one -on -one against EC3. Johnny Gargano, ringside by Candice LeRae, will go one-on-one -on -one against Samoa Joe. Kane will go up against No Way Jose. Becky Lynch will go up against Nia Jax. Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, the B-team, will go up against Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. Our first featured match tonight, I'm pretty sure it's our first featured match, if not, I apologize, will be Sheamus. Oh, oh wait, no, this isn't our first, my apologies. Next match is our first featured match. Sheamus will go one-on-one -on -one against Finn Balor. Our first featured match this time will be Kofi Kingston versus our, the, the reigning United States Champion, CM Punk. Cedric Alexander will get his first featured match, as far as I know, against Shinsuke Nakamura. And our main event... Oh! I was not expecting this. Our main event today will be Randy Orton versus Aleister Black for the WWE Championship. I'm guessing the manager relates this feud that's going on. So now, let's get right into our first match. Er, no, wait. <laughs> Hoops. Um, now, we're going to start simming the matches. Obviously, uh, Aleister Black. Uh, and Big Show took the victory over EC3. Samoa Joe takes the victory over Johnny Gargano. 
Kane takes a victory over No Way Jose. Nia Jax takes a victory over Becky Lynch. Hawkins and Ryder take the victory over the B team. Sheamus takes a victory over Finn Balor. And now it is time for our first featured match, which will be CM Punk versus Kofi Kingston. And here he is. Contest is scheduled for one fall. US champion CM Punk. Making his way to the ring. Again, sorry for New York. You know, weighing in at two hundred and eighty pounds. Um, so he's not the WWE um, United be States Champion C M Punk. You know, maybe I'll look for a different creation that maybe looks better. I mean. The design obviously is amazing. The name was perfect. They call him CM Punk. I mean, just, I don't expect cult of personality to come on. And if it does, that'd be some crazy, shit, crazy things. <laughs> Got a good person. All right. Oh, WWE! Now it's New Day time. Don't you dare! Be sour! Clap for your longest reigning tag champs and feel the power! It's a new day, yes it is! A new day, yes it is. And his opponent representing the new day. From Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston! Who knows, maybe Kofi will be the United States Champion soon. I don't know. I'm also surprised Punk has decided to wrestle today. Because according to, you know, the medical member when we said well, Punk was bleeding yesterday and we... Found out that it was, you know. The music stopped. Oh, never mind. Oops, I thought some dramatic about happened, so I stopped playing. But, um, Punk definitely hit his head a little hard, so, you know. Hopefully, Kofi's trouble in paradise doesn't end up hurting him even more, because it's a tough job, so. Wrestler safety is obviously first. Kofi starting off with a quick suplex. <laughs> Kick to the back of Punk. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, it looks like he's grabbing his head. See, you can see just the injury from the Punk's head. And now Punk throws Kofi outside of the ring. Oh, and a spear outside of the ring to Kofi. Kofi. What a reversal. Oh, right into the steps, hurting the chest of Punk. Wow. Kofi wants him up. Three. Kofi. Oh! Splash, and that failed miserably. Kofi. Oh! Throwing him back into the steps. That has to hurt. Two. Now bringing him back into the ring. Now. Brings him up, and oh! The rope's almost gotten away at that one. Not really, the, the chest of Punk is being damaged the most here. Now Kofi, looking for a suplex. All right, the Punk. Now, Kofi found some punches. Oh, go for a kick, but Punk hit turn right into the turnbuckle. Now he's gonna take shots on the Kofi. Now he's got him back there in the corner. He's gonna lift him. Oh, that's gotta hurt. And Kofi is not gonna take any more hits from Punk. Up and down, right on Punk. Oh, Kofi, oh Kofi, you can't do that. Oh, I don't know if Kofi knows about his head. 
I don't know if he even knows anywhere close about Punk's head, but he probably wouldn't be doing this if he did. And now Punk, DDT on the Kingston. Oh, Vincent Curry for the heavy Kingston. He's in the corner now. Oh. Same thing he did last time Kofi was in the corner. Now he's got Kofi up. And, oh, he counters that kick. Now Kofi, but Punk would have reverse on a spinning neck breaker. Right to Kingston. And, oh, he dodges that. But he can't grab onto him and he gets him on a body slam right to Punk. Now showing his love for the New Day Kofi. Now, throwing punches right to Punk. So many punches. And now he goes for a grab on another body slam. Now Punk crawling for dear life away from Kofi. Kofi has him up. Throws him into the turnbuckle. The Punk reversing that one. Punk. He's got him in a pedigree backbreaker. That one's got to hurt. And now Punk, he's going up. And now he's looking for a uh, elbow drop on the Kofi. Looking for the pin. One, two, go! Oh, kick out two from Kofi. And now he's oh he's going back up. What's he doing? Punk with a bat the ball, but the knees come up from Kofi. Oh, that has to hurt. Oh, it's got her with Punk and Kofi running it. Oh! He's on the floor now. Looking for a signature, he misses. Kofi can't go for the boom drop. And it's a guard! It's a guard! A punk. Punk's got him in the end of Vice. Punk's got him in the end of Vice. But no! He's got him. Kofi. Barely getting out of the end of Vice. Oh! He's got him down. No. Oh, no. No, the Trouble in Paradise. This could damage his head. This could damage Punk's head. Trouble in Paradise. Oh, no. Oh, no. This cannot be good for CM Punk. Oh, rope break. The Kofi's got his comeback. Kofi's is not whatever Punk was thinking. Um, well, Kofi has got him up. Back, 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 back. Suplex. Kofi just wear and tear from this match has him. And oh, that was, that's not, okay. No, it cares. No, Punk. Kofi looking to do damage to the leg of Punk and all that's got to hurt him. Looking for another one. Another one to Punk. Oh. His legs are Punk. Definitely hurting. They're definitely hurting. And now doing damage to the head. Stop. Kofi needs to stop doing damage to the head of Sam Punk. This is not good. He's exiting the ring and all oh, he's going to look to fly high. Can he not fly high? He cannot fly high. Why were they not letting him fly high? Punk with the reversal. Kofi's not going to let another pedigree backbreaker get to him at a clothesline. Kofi says, not in my house, Punk. Now Kofi's got the hand of Punk. He's looking for He's looking for it off. Flip right into the turnbuckle. Now Punk stuck in the corner. Helplessly can't move. Now, oh, oh, gonna move there. Now Kofi. Now Kofi's looking for it. Boom drop. A boom drop by Kingston. Kofi's looking at this right here. Kofi's looking at this right here. Oh, he reverses it. 
pile driver. Punk reverse the trouble in paradise. Punk reverse it, and Kofi has no clue what's going on right now. Kofi thought he had it right there. Guess he didn't. Kofi throws him over. He's gonna look for another suplex. Is he gonna get this one? Back, 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 back. Boom, suplex. Kofi's thinking, what do I have to do? And Kofi says, no, not today. Kofi needs to go over there. Never mind. Trying to put him in. No, Kofi's resting. Kofi needs to take a rest. I cannot believe this match is main event worthy. This isn't even the main event. Leg sweep to Punk. Oh, what's Kofi thinking? He's got him set up. What's he thinking? Uh, he's thinking, hmm, why did I box that? Oh! Wait, is this the vice? Which one's the vice? Oh! No matter what that is, it was finally broken up by Kofi. Did he tell him that I had a punk Kofi? You need to stop. The head of Punk is in bad condition. What a reversal by Kofi. Suplex. He's in perfect spot again for yet another. Boom drop. Yet another boom drop. This is it. This will be the dagger. He gets it. The trouble in paradise. The ring is shaking from the vibrations. He's in there. Pin one. Two. What? He kicked out. He kicked out. I cannot believe this. Oh, Punk. Now, Punk. He's got him in the... He's looking for a pile driver on the Kingston. The punk got him in the vice. Punk's got him in the vice. He's trying to look for an escape. He's looking. Oh, he get, but he gets it. Gets out of the vice. Kofi gets out of the vice. Oh, he's got him for a backbreaker. Oh, Punk's looking to end this. Punk's looking to end this. Punk's got him up. He's got him up. GTS. GTS. I mean, why has he got him back up? Looking for a Whoa. Yet another GTS. And Kofi is busted open. And Punk, look at Punk. He just wants to keep going. Punk wants to keep going. I can't believe it. And Punk... Oh my god, he's not stopping! Punk is not stopping! Kofi says no! And Kofi now! Kofi now has the upper hand! And Punk, you should have took the pin after the first, maybe in the second! But he's not! Now Kofi's attacking that head of Punk! That's not where Punk would want to be attacked right now! Considering that we were talking about how he was busted open at Extreme Rolls and suffering damage to the head! Now Kofi's... Kofi! Elbow drop was missed! He missed the elbow drop! He missed the elbow drop! Kofi! Oh! That's right to the head, Punk. You don't want that to happen. One goes up, the other comes down. Kofi's gonna look to do something to that leg yet again of Punk. Ooh, that one's gotta hurt. Alright. Boom drop! Boom drop! A boom drop from Kofi! Oh my god, this has to be the end. There's no way if Punk, if Punk kicks out of this, if he hits it, he hits a Trouble in Paradise. That's like the third Trouble in Paradise The Punk. One, two, three. Kingston defeats the United States Champion. Kingston defeats the United States Champion. What a match. We still have two more. I think Kofi has given a valid reason on why he should win the United States Championship. I think Kofi's definitely going to be chasing that title now. But what a pin. 
Like, my, what, a, what a match. That kick out of two. We thought it was over. Punk hit him with two GTSs. Kofi finally snapped out of it. Came back. Literally, such an exciting match. You love to see it. You really just love to see it. Hi, right, it's me. I'm back. Yeah, you probably haven't seen me in a while because usually we pan through matches, but now it's a new editing process. I'm going to have less screen time. That sucks. But it's fine. we got to keep going. That was the first. That was a great match. Now, it's time to get to our next match. So I will see you there. Here he is, the man that definitely wants more feature time. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina. Weighing in at 200 pounds. Cedric He's ready for his first feature match. I would be too. This could be a time for him to prove himself. Now, it's time for the King of Strong Style. Nakamura frustrated over a loss and Cedric excited to get his first start. Or not first start, his first featured match. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into this. Uh, Nakamura starting off with a quick suplex. Ooh, right to the face of Alexander. Alexander, oh, see that's that fast, that's that fast agility and all that, that's what we need to see from Cedric Alexander so he can get a win here and prove that he should be featured more. I'm going to try and get a lot of people some featured matches, you know, who everybody likes, who everybody dislikes, and yeah, Nakamura, oh, front slam right to Alexander. And you can tell that he is frustrated after I lost the punk. He's a suplex right off the ropes. Maybe he thinks he should get a second chance. Maybe this Cedric Alexander win can maybe show that he need that Cedric Alexander is proper. I just can't speak. And close line from Alexander, but what I'm trying to say is whoever wins this will probably make a point that they either deserve a second chance or deserve to be in the race for the belt. Yeah. Nakamura says no to that. Oh, maybe shut down. And Cedric's right back up and super kick. Wow. That's the agility that we need to see from Cedric, man. That what? That was so agile. That was amazing. Cedric oh, flipping him over. Uppercut to Nakamura. And Nakamura says no to that and reverses it. Kick right to the face of Alexander. He's got him in the ropes. What's he looking for? Oh, I needed a back from off the second rope. Or the second turnbuckle, my apologies. 
Now he's oh, all those punches right to Cedric. Oh no! The ref's knocked out. Oh, what's Nakamura doing now? The ref's knocked out. Looking for a chair. Nakamura's looking, but the ref gets back up and Cedric catches his plans. Oof. Now they're going to head it to the outside. Yet another pull. It's the agility of Cedric Alexander. But Nakamura says no to that one and all off the ring post. Can Nakamura fly high? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> now Nakamura exiting the ring. And ooh, reversing that, but throwing him back in. Alexander coming back into the ring. And nope, he blocks that punch. Now, an exchange of fists and Nakamura looking for another suplex onto the rope. If anybody wants his win bad enough, it is definitely Nakamura. Just because I keep bringing up that loss, but you know what? Let's stay out of the past. Let's stick to the present and hope for the future. Nakamura is looking to go up high. Nakamura is looking to go up high. Knees to the um, chest of Cedric Alexander. Nakamura looking for a signature move. Cedric reversed it. Cedric Alexander reversed it. Cedric Alexander reversed Nakamura's signature. Boom. What a close on from Cedric. And now, he's looking at this right now. He's looking to get an early end on Nakamura. What is he going for? I don't know what that finishing move is labeled for him, but what? Oh, uh, suplex. No, Nakamura dodging the comeback. And look, he's going to get him for a third. On top of the rope, suplex. And now there's no comeback left for Cedric Alexander. Nakamura looking to go up high again. Oh, knees to the chest. Nakamura lagging. Xander gets back up and Nakamura catches him. Suplex. Oh my, another one of these, man. That chest of Cedric Alexander is going to be hurt tomorrow. And as you can see, his chest is red. Oh, Cedric. Oh, that's got to hurt the back of Nakamura. Nakamura says no! Nakamura says no. And Nakamura going for the signature yet again, and he hits that! He hits it that time. He hits it that time. This might be the end for Cedric Alexander. The kick. And the king shows up! He's going for the pin. One, two, three! Nakamura takes this one nice and easy from Cedric Alexander. That's a quick match compared to our last one. Cedric is very disappointed in himself after that one. Most certainly disappointed there. And hey, we're back here. Hi, how are you? Hope you guys enjoyed that match. Now it's time to get into our main event. The highly anticipated match that we've all been waiting for right now. I probably waited an hour for it. Just because of, you know, all the editing and all that that has to go through. It is now time for Aleister Black versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. No more time being wasted. Let's get right to it. And now... It's main event time. And is for the WWE Championship. 
This is going to be really exciting. Here he is with his first ever match on Monday Night Raw, being probably his most important match on Monday Night Raw. The man himself, Alistair Black. There he is, Alistair Black. I love doing this. I really love doing this. My improv might not improv. My mic skills need work, but besides that, I love what I'm doing right now, and I really enjoy this. Can't wait to do more, because it just gets better and better. Especially the fact that, you know, one of my writers actually, yes, we're using writers now. They may turn into general managers eventually, but, yeah. They're just going to help make this better and better, and it's going to keep getting better and better. Hopefully we can just get news with more and more people. Now, it's time to see our crown champion. There he is, the first ever two-time WWE Champion, Randy Orton. Well, I guess he also is, there's only been two champions, so. But there may be three tonight, who knows. I'm excited, and I hope you are too. Enough time wasted. We're not even going to go through the intro. Yes, we'll look at the title right now. We're not even going to go through that intro. You know who they are. Challenger Alistair Black, Champion Randy Orton. Enough time wasted. Let's get right to it. We've seen this from we've seen this before. We saw this earlier. Another ref. They start off with a ref being hit. And, oh, Ray Jordan getting disqualified would indeed be a smart move. I mean, think about it. He gets disqualified. He stays his champion. But no. Oh. Now it's time for Alistair Black to take out all that anger from earlier. That's only if he can. Get control over Orton. Orton looking to gain early control over Black. I hit the wrong button, my apologies. I can I'm sorry. Now, an officer Black wondering what the hell is this idiot doing and kicks him right in the face. Norton says no and throws him right into the steps. What's Orton looking to do? What's Orton looking to do here? Oh, he misses that drop kick and now Aleister Black begins to meditate, but Orton's not going to have any of that. No meditating in a WWE Championship match. Get back in here, Aleister. We have a match to get to. Orton looking for a neck breaker. Oh, now punch by 
Oh, and a hip toss right to Orton. He's going to pick him back up, and now he's going to start. But Orton catches that kick. Now Orton going for the first Luthes press of the match. We usually get a few of these, so we'll see how many he gets to this time. That's what Orton looking to do. Shinsuke was doing this a lot earlier, and now Orton's going to do the suplex onto the ropes. Now Orton going to look for a suplex this time, not on the ropes, but on the wrestling mat. Orton getting very early control of Black, and ooh, extending that leg. Now getting some kicks in, but Alistair reverses that one. Now Alistair starts to go to work on Orton now. Alistair able to get his legs nice and high so he can get those high kicks on Orton. And, ooh, ooh, that's got to hurt. Ooh. Alistair really doing most of his damage through kicks. Orton throws him down. Now Orton looking for yet another suplex to Alistair Black. Now he's going to look to do some damage on that head and neck area. No worry, just taunting his opponent. No, Black takes some punches but countering that next one and ooh, knee right to the face of Randy Orton. Now doing some work on that arm. Ah, that gotta hurt, man. <clears throat> that's a kick to the gut. I'd say, an, ooh, that's also gotta hurt. Listen, man. These kicks and punches have to hurt. Orton, hip tossing, Alistair. And for kicking now. It's Orton time. It's time for this. The Orton DDT. Maybe Orton looking for an early exit on this one. Trying to get Aleister Black. He called him out earlier, and now he's going to try and shut him up early. He's looking for it. We all know what he's looking for. But Aleister Black reverses the RKO. He gets thrown out of the ring by Aleister. Orton says no, not today, but Orton. Now, he's got him up. He's got a neck breaker right to Aleister Black. Oh, right to the face. Orton, he's not going to have any of that. And there's the second Luthes press on the Aleister Black. And now Orton's going to look to go up top. He's going to look to go up top, go high flying. Orton, oh, knee right to the chest. I'm going for a kick. What? what was he looking to do? But whatever it was, Orton wasn't going to let it happen. He reverses that kick. Oh, close line. Now just taunting. Now, look at Orton, the champion in all his glory. But Alistair Black reverses that. Three kicks of his own. Oh. Kick right to the face. He's going to look to just pin him, maybe? No? What is this? Oh, no. Is that Black Mass? Is that Black Mass? I'm pretty sure it's what it is. I'm pretty sure it's his finisher, Black Mass. One. Two. Orton kicks out of two. Orton kicked out of the black mass. Now Black, he has his comeback ready. But will Orton get up in time? Black just staring at Orton. Really just staring at him. Orton finally wakes up at Alistair Black. But Orton takes it. Orton. Oh, Catches Black. Catches Black. Now, oh. Kicks his ass literally. Now Orton. Orton's looking for another one of these. 
Another one of these or DDTs. Boom. But you know, he's too close to the ropes. You know, if Orin wants to end this, he can't have him that close to the ropes. They changed the button, I'm sorry. But I'm too close to the rope. Lift him! Lift him! Lift him! Oh, Jesus. But oh! He went for the clothesline to Malister Black. Wow. Malister Black is like. But oh! Orin's not going to have none of that. And Orin wants his prey back in the ring. That's how I like my prey. He's got him in a corner. And close. Oh, no! But Orin catches that. And Orton's gonna look for a. Is he gonna get a suplex house or black? He definitely needs to end this now if he wants to stay champion. It didn't let me do it. That's not funny. I wanted to do the RKO. But Alistair Black says, no, I'm not going to get RKO'd out of this guy. Decides to throw Orton out of the ring. And now, starts to meditate. Put Orton reversing that one and close up, oh, but he catches him with a kick. Oh, and he reverses that and... Oh, suplex. Now Orton going to reset the count. Oh, Orton has him in the middle of the ring. You know what Orton's gonna say? Orton's gonna say nothing. Orton says no to that. And Orton! RKO out of nowhere! That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. One. Two. Kicked out. Impressive. He kicked out. Very impressive. Check the way he kicks the house for black. Do some damage to the hand of Alistair Black. Or in reverse in that one. Leg sweeps him. Now Orton for the third. Orton D D T. Took forever. Now Orton's got a full bar of stamina. I know he's gonna definitely wanna end this now, since he can end this. Unless he throws. You know what, You're really just. You, you've had a bad day, so you know what? Let's end it. RKO! That's it. He's done. Or it retains. One, two. Excuse me? Orton is definitely surprised by that one. Oh, kick to the head. Now Black's e emoting. Wow. I just said emoting. So you, you guys can beat me up if you want it. Oh, never mind. He throws him out. Orton's going to go up top. What's he looking for? Is he going to look for knees? No, but he misses. That's got to hurt his legs. Oh, I'm reversing that. And I'm looking for a clothesline on with a cement. Orton wants to take this. Oh, no. You know where Orton wants to go. He wants to try this again. Knees to the... Yeah, I, I guess he got it. I guess he got it. Oh. This wouldn't be smart if I was Aleister Black. Orton. He's out of stamina, but he's he's running into the ring. And what a man a neck breaker. He's gonna go right for the pin here. But oh the rope break. You gotta be kidding me. That's gotta suck if you're but black's looking at, black gets up first, no, but black rolls out of harm's way actually outside of the ring. But you can tell Orton's waiting for him. 
Orton's waiting for him. He reversed it. He reversed it. He reversed it. This is it. Jamister Black does it. Oh, no way. No way. What? I didn't expect that myself because I was trying to get Orton to win the match. His first match as a Raw Superstar. He keeps the runs the Viper. Randy Orton. I mean, come on. When you kick out of that, you deserve to be champion. I mean... There's no way. I'm amazed. I am amazed. What a debut from Aleister Black. And I'm, I'm not supposed to be showing that star thing, but I'm just... I need to sit back down and... Oh my god. I oh guess That was amazing. That was incredible. I, I didn't expect him to be champion this early. I was going to maybe push him. But to come in, say, that's mine, and then take it, that's incredible. And that's just, it, it literally says 4.5 stars, instant classic. That That's going to be the, that is the greatest debut in universe mode ever. It has to be the greatest debut in universe mode. That's amazing. We didn't even have him drafted. He was undrafted. And we went in the free agency and we, we picked up five or six people. He was not picked up. But that is amazing. And that is just incredible. I, I have no worries. That was amazing. I mean, I was thinking of doing the Raw recap, but I think we should just get rid of that. If we're going to talk about our three feature matches, you know, that incredible match between Kofi and Punk. Kofi. Taking the victory over Punk, although Punk really Punk showed that. Shinsuke taking that quick victory off of Cedric, and now this. The greatest debut in Universe Mode history, and it is incredible. I was surprised, because I, oh, I didn't kick out, I should have kicked out, and I'm bad, so, oops. But, ah, it's just incredible. I, there's no way that Orton, Orton is literally held that title for like no days like I, I, that's awful but Orton just he might be out of the championship race yet if you could hold on to it and then lose it straight away there's no way he's a contender anymore but that's the end and I mean if you guys liked it I definitely did but if you guys liked it make sure to like comment and subscribe and all that but like this isn't every week but if my writers want this then we're going to have this. So stay tuned, because it, it, like I said, it just gets better from this. It gets better from this. I'll see you guys on Friday for SmackDown. Goodbye.